Broke the hour. Broke the hour shy. Broke the hour. Broke the hour shy. Broke the hour. Broke the hour. Bashim yawa shy. Bashim. Rekaku dash. The blindness of the apostles and the elders of Grand Milson and Trubel. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. Glockium to the Dockium that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Right? On the pre Shimon, this week's lesson is going to be entitled This Truth Come with Software Updates. Spiritual Software Updates. We're no different than machines, you know. Every now and again, the machine has to get updated with sort of the late, latest version, all right, of a particular software, you know, fix new bugs, uh, process information more efficiently. It's an update, you know. Well, this truth that we have operates the same way. And the inspiration for the show comes from the fact that I was listening to the latest uh, teaching from the apostles. And the apostle, Elder Gabar, made a statement about uh, the speckled bird. Now, we often would, on a base level, equate that with, you know, the fact that the Mosai has a variety when it comes to how we're going to look outwardly. Um, then as we dug deeper through the spirit, you know, speckled bird is also unclean, which Israel became unclean to the most high. And the most recent sulfur update from the spirit, all right, scripture says that the angels are ministering spirits unto us. Is the fact that uh, a speckled bird is sort of frowned upon. It's not actually talking about a bird. It's like a, a mutt, as Apostle Zaha would say, right? I said in that video. So it got me to thinking, like, this thing that we have is, is literally like software updates. And software updates are scriptural. Because when you read the book of Acts, the 18th chapter and the 24th verse, it speaks about Aquila. Aquila and Priscilla, and it also speaks about Apollos. Now, Apollos was a Jew that, dealt, that uh, lived in Alexandria, Egypt, letting you know that our people were scattered. Um, there were so many Jews in Alexandria, Egypt, when you do the research and go into the secular accounts and all that type of stuff, man. We, we took over that place. By the way, the real Jews are the Negroes you see here in America, all right? And um, West Indian and Haitians. Uh, Jew is derived from the term Judah. And uh, when the kingdom became split into two separate kingdoms, the north and the south, with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi representing the south, and the remaining tribes uh, represented north. The northern kingdom went into captivity in Assyria, under the Assyrian captivity. And the southern kingdom went into the captivity under the Babylonians. Now, instead of calling the southern kingdom by their respective tribe, whether you're a Judite or a Benjamite or a, um, a Levite, they just said, Jew, all of you. So it's really a derogatory term. Okay? Going back to our Lord's time, yes, the northern kingdom was scattered because you was going to have the tribe scattered, but primarily around the Lord's time, you had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and Aquila was a Jew. All right? And uh, he knew the bapti baptism of John. And the scripture would later, as you read down in the verse verses, it speaks about that Apollos. It says Apollos and Aquila, but we know that. I mean, it says Aquila and Priscilla, but we know that um, it's not Priscilla. Uh, it's not. It's not calmly or permitted for a woman to teach a man. So we know that when it says that uh, Aquila and Priscilla expounded the knowledge more perfectly onto him, it was really the man, right? Now this man, Apollos, he knew a lot. He was mighty. And the doctrine and the baptism of John. But as Aquila was listening, he said, wait a minute, you know, I gotta update this brother's information. He had to get a software update. But he received it. 
And when you look in the Hebrew word for more perfectly, I'm sorry, the Greek word for more perfectly, in Acts 18 chapter, I believe it's the 26th verse, it says more exact. So more exact understanding is going to constantly keep happening in this truth, all right? Because the angels are going to constantly reveal revelations to brothers, apostles, elders, brothers. Now, ironically, not every machine does well with a software update. Some machines actually do worse. Try to update that information to them, the machine just can't take it. Very similar to, <laughs> primarily this happens with an older machine. And you know what scripture comes to mind, right? Put a new wine into old bottles, right? So the older Jakes, they have a hard time receiving a new wine, but a software update on that scripture I just quoted. It's really, that old bottle is really talking about the old man. You always can, you know, you have to you have to throw off the old ways of yourself to accept this new philosophy, this new wine, this, this Hebrew Israelite thing to its fullest. So, when these things get updated, software updates, spiritual software updates, all right? Hey, at times, you gotta just pray to the most side that, yeah, how about Shemiel Shah? Let me get this understanding. Let me get this update. You know, because you might not get it right away. But you be patient. You say, okay, Lord, just, you know, and eventually the most odd. Sounds good. You know, you receive it. Some brothers like that. Oh, that makes sense. Every man is different. There's a different dispensation of faith. And the scriptures expressly say that every man have the same faith. All right? So we're dealing with different computers here, man, but when that update comes down, that software update comes down, oh, a major update, a very major update before our time, the YouTube Era Brothers was when the apostles on the scene and that Cornel is being an Israelite. Now that crashed a whole bunch of computers. They just couldn't, up, you know what I'm saying? It was like trying to run the latest Windows on a, it's like trying to run a, whatever they have the latest Microsoft is, on a Windows 95 computer, man. Just couldn't take it. They couldn't process the information. It was just too much, you know? Now, eventually, a lot of those individuals turned around, all right? But, and, you know, I got to think about this guy, Zabak. Pastor Tahar says he's, he's sincere. You know, he's diligent. All right, but this guy got to just humble himself and receive these updates, man. You know, because he's whole, he, his whole thing is he's so set. Like, this is what I was taught 20 years ago. No new revelation is going to come. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, man. The scripture says this is living water. It's not stagnant. St. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. And when it says that, it's going into more than just what the Lord looked like. Out of his belly, or his mind, all right, when the scripture says belly, it's talking about your mind because you have, in English, something called food for thought. Out of his belly, Shafro lives, uh, rivers of living water. So that's how this truth works, you know. It's, you consume water, your body's going to have to let it out some way. Whether you have to piss it out, sweat it out, it has to come out some way. And the more water you drink, the more water you're going to have to let out. So the more of this knowledge you take in, you can't help but let it out. The more you take in, the more you're going to dish out, man. You know? Now, going back to that analogy with the sweat and the piss, right? You might sweat out some water or you might let out a lot of water, but eventually you keep drinking. You got to let it out some way, somehow, right? And that's what happens in this truth. You start to digest this information. You might let it out a little, talking to somebody uh, that you know in the world, or you know, or having little uh, less, you know, controversial topics with people you may know. You let it out a little bit, but 
the more you drink and the more you of this water you drink, eventually it's gonna burst out of you. Whether whether you wanna just join the camp or whether sometimes you get in the heat of the, the, the bed, you just you know sometimes blurt out some stinks to some people that you kind of just like, damn, why did I say that? That's cause you gotta let that water out, man. But going back to the topic at hand, it's it's alive, man. The, the, the rivers that are flowing, this ain't no dead waters, man. This ain't no dead waters. And when I had mentioned that it goes more into just what the Lord looked like, it also goes into the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh Shah. That's a very crucial thing. Alright? It also goes into the doctrine that the Lord taught. Such as that he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Alright? RFID microchip, that's a major software operating system update, man. The understanding that that's the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. So, to you the individuals out there, and I'm not saying this in a malice manner at all, you know? To the ones that are sincere, and buck up because you could buck up in righteous thought you could buck up in sincerity i'm sorry you know to the ones that are in that spirit hey look i pray the most i open your minds to it man and that the rivers are able to flow and that you're able to receive these software updates man but to the ones that you are uh, willingly being demons all right well that's on you, man. That's on you. At the end of the day, Isaiah 55 and 11 can't quote that scripture enough. The words of the Heavenly Father shall not go out void. And it's going to be revealed to the true men of the Lord, which we believe that's the apostles and the elders and brothers under that banner, teaching that same doctrine, receiving these updates, these spiritual updates from the uh, Heavenly Father. Gonna be, it's going to be shown that these are the ones that the most size dental. So, with that analogy, I'm going to close out. You guys out there, man, hey, you got viruses or demons on you, man. <laughs> when a computer get the virus, you can't update it because the computer got the virus. Sometimes you got to just reset the whole thing. Oh, man, that's spiritual. You know, I used to work with the computer. Sometimes you have to do a like you got a you got a virus, you just gotta reboot it to the factory settings. You guys, you guys gotta reboot to the factory settings, man. Go back to the very basics of these scriptures and start redigesting these updates again, man. All right, the ones that are bucking up and that was in this thing for a very long time before our time. I, the I will be in the YouTube era time, okay? And that factory setting. Which is to humble yourself, pray to the Most High, be a baby again. But that takes great humility. And fall in line with who the Spirit is working with, man. I'm going to give all praise to see Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakodash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which well. Salutations to the whole for the left out there, man. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.